Now, may I humbly request Honorable Justice Surikant, Judge, Supreme Court of India, to kindly deliver the welcome address. Honorable President of India, Srimati Draupadi Murmuji, Dr. Justice D.Y. Chandrachud, Honorable Chief Justice of India, Sri Arjun Ram Meghwal, Honorable Minister of State for Law and Justice, my esteemed colleagues from the Supreme Court of India, Chief Justices representing various High Courts, Learned Attorney General of India, Learned Solicitor General of India, Learned Additional Solicitor General of India, Judicial Officers from all over India, Senior Advocates and other members of the Legal Fraternity, Ladies and Gentlemen, Namaskar. It is my prodigious privilege to deliver this welcome address as we celebrate the successful conclusion of the two-day national conference on the district judiciary. I express my ardent gratitude to the Honorable President of India, Srimati Draupadi Murmuji, for having graced this monumental occasion. Honorable President, your benevolent presence is both an honor and a profound affirmation of the importance of our deliberations. Your intense allegiance to improving access to justice, to juveniles, jail inmates and the marginalized sections of society has been a stimulant guiding our efforts. We look forward to hearing more of your inspiring thoughts. I would also like to extend my special thanks to Dr. Justice Chandrachur, Honorable Chief Justice of India for conceptualizing the idea of interface with the district judiciary. My thanks are also due to Sri Arjuna Meghwal, Honorable Minister of State of Law and Justice and other distinguished dignitaries for joining this event and for their unfettered support which has been a source of strength in our noble pursuit to fortify the justice delivery system at its very foundation. This year, we proudly commemorate 75 illustrious years of the Supreme Court, a testament to the remarkable journey we have traversed, guided by the profound wisdom of our predecessors who laid the foundation of this historical institution. From its very inception, the Supreme Court has been resolute in its mission to render justice to the most distant parts of our nation, undertaking numerous initiatives to fulfill this worthy goal. Keeping this action-oriented approach in mind, several nationwide conferences have been successfully organized across the length and breadth of our country. These gatherings serve not only as platforms for judicial officers to learn and adopt best practices, but also as a crucial forum for us to deeply understand and address the pressing issues that challenge our judicial system at the grassroots level. Far more than mere conferences, these are vital deliberations that allow us to explore how we can enhance the seamless delivery of justice while upholding the best interests of all stakeholders. Perhaps the most rewarding aspect of these conferences is the opportunity to learn from every opinion and suggestion shared. This conference, like the earlier one, has been conducted with the same virtuous intentions and objectives. Over the course of two days, we have engaged in several sessions featuring esteemed judges from the Supreme Court and chief justices of various high courts. We have covered a wide range of topics each crucial for fostering better collaboration among the various tiers of our judiciary. Notably, these sessions featured insightful presence and presentations by district judges from different states and interactive discussions on pertinent sub-issues, making them both informative and engaging. I am sanguine that it would prove fruitful for the creation of 
a more robust and efficient judicial mechanism. I would also like to take this opportunity to earnestly ask the Chief Justice of all the High Courts to ruminate on critical issues we have collectively identified and discussed over these last two days. High Courts being the custodians of the administrative control over the district judiciary, they need to translate the insights and resolutions from our discussions into concrete actions within their respective jurisdictions. The pursuit of justice, I believe, is a continuous journey, one that requires our collective dedication and untiring commitment. As we bring this conference to a close, I am confident that the deliberations and ideas exchanged here will further augment our judicial system and inspire us to strive even harder in our shared mission to ensure that justice reaches the last man in the street. I extend my appreciation to all the participants gathered here for their valuable contributions and dedication. Together, we will continue to endeavor towards a judiciary that is committed to serve with excellence and integrity. Thank you very much. Jai Hind.